In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control the animations with the help of triggers. As you can see here, I have created four options and whenever I'm bringing the mouse here, you can see the mouse pointer is changing. This is hand and this becomes arrow. Okay, here also the same thing. So what happens, how it works is when I want to click, I want to see what's in option three, I'll just click here, it will reveal. Okay, then if I want what's in option one, it's done. Four to like that you can see here when I click only then only the animation happens so let's see how we can do with the help of the triggers please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background then go to the view enable the guides go to the insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size or you can increase or decrease the size depending on the requirement and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside and if you want you can increase the size a little bit and then shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to give a gradient fill here for that right mouse click go to the format shape i can select the fill go to the gradient fill here there are four stops i'm going to select two stops and delete it one stop i'm going to make it some light yellow color and then i'm going to give a orange color and the direction i'm going to change something like this then go to the insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key all right you can just put it here make sure it is aligned center shape outline i'm going to give it white and shape fill you can give any color light color background then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white reduce the size again by holding the shift key and put it again in the center something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned if it is not you can just select both this oval shape go to the shape format align center align middle and once this is done you can go to the insert icons and choose any icon depending on the requirement so i'm just going to choose some random icon here or maybe a kind maybe airplane click insert I'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 and the color I'm going to choose yellow or the orange color something like this and then you can just go to the insert text and say 01 center align I'm going to use the font open sans extra bold or any font of your choice increase the size sorry select this one bring it up Control D to duplicate and here I'm going to type step reduce the size and put it here and both of all these options I'm going to select and press Control G to group it I'm going to add one more shape or I can go insert from the shape select this rounded corner rectangle or I can just select this shape also Control C copy click outside and Control V and this one shape format go to the shape fill I'm going to fill this with white color increase the width and put it here something like this and send this to back all right then here you can just align it as per the requirement and then insert the details go to the text and here title here make it bold any font you can just choose and here i'm going to insert one line you can see here you can insert one line here and the line color also i'm going to choose the golden color go to insert text box add detail text here you can add some detail text all right so once this is done i'm going to select all these shapes except this one which you have already grouped okay and press ctrl g it becomes the group and send this to back all right so you can see here i have made it like this now i can just go and 
do any number of maybe four or five by holding the control shift key and just drag it so this is my second option third option and fourth option then i'll make it as second step third step and fourth step now comes the part of animation for that close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane here before doing the animation i would like to name this one okay this is as the step one step two step three step four like that okay this will help me to do the animation okay so now i'm going to select this one and go to the home selection selection pane you can give these names here okay just select here and i'm just saying that step zero one copy this one come here check okay it is here this is step two this is step three sorry step three i'm just renaming the object name and this is step four okay now go back to the animation so the first animation i would like to do is go to the animation add animation more intense effects here i'm going to select stretch click ok stretch from left so when i click it comes something like this okay so the thing is when i click this one well, because when i'm clicking then only it's happening here can you see here when i click it's happening but i want the animation should happen when i click on the step one here this particular area then only should happen to do that one you need to double click this one go to the timings triggers start effect on click you remember we have created the names step one step two like that you can see here step one click ok so now if i slide show can you see here the moment i bring my mouse here it is turning point okay can you see here and when i click it comes here same thing i can just do here click on the animation painter only thing is now i have to just double click this one timings trigger effect on step two okay then i'm coming here copy the animation double click this one timings triggers start effect on step three then again copy the animation here you can see here all these are with triggers and here it is not trigger that means you have not added any trigger so double click this one timings trigger step four click ok now i can just click on anything it will start coming the animation i want the animation on step three you can see here then step one step four step two like that you can just control the animations